Hi there. This is a clock which I recently purchased from a second hand store for five dollars. On the price tag it said untested and I looked at this clock and thought there's no reason why it shouldn't work so I took a bet and I won the bet because the clock works absolutely perfectly. I was sort of trying to figure out when this clock might be from. There are no date stamps on, on the back of it or anything like that, which we'll have a look at, but I sort of had three decades in mind for different reasons. I had sort of thought 1970s because of these gold feet that are um, on it here. For some reason, in my mind, things like that sort of look slightly 70s. Um, I also sort of thought 1980s, maybe because of the shape of it, um, and also maybe even 1990s because of this frosted design on the glass that you can see it sort of gives off a bit of a 90s um, vibe and um, so I brought this home and then I saw a video uploaded the same day by a YouTube user called Dynatrack and in his video he was showing off a clock which hangs in his home uh, that he does know when it's from and that's from uh, the early 1980s but the most interesting thing is that the font of the numbers on the face of the clock are almost identical to his, with the exception of two things. The first, being the number four, is a different style. And the second, which is even more subtle, is on mine, the top of the five is a straight line, whereas on his, it's a wiggly line. And I think those are about the only differences between the two. So thanks very much for Dynatrack for uploading his video because it enabled me, based on the, the font, to sort of ascertain that this clock is indeed from the 1980s. And judging by the quality of it, because it's in basically a pristine condition, I suspect that this was put in a box somewhere and left... Um, untouched for or unused for quite some time because it really shows no sign of being tarnished or or anything like that. I'll spin it around. Uh, it does have a um, an alarm on there. Um, I don't use it. It does work um, but I don't I don't use it for an alarm and it takes one double A battery as we can see in there. Um, so this is my little, oh, if I can get this back in. So this is my little um, find. It's now sitting in the kitchen on top of the microwave. And it's a pretty good find for $5. So again, a big thank you to Dynatrack for um, showing off his, his clock and helping me to ascertain a, um, a date range based on the font of the numbers. Thank you.